So as far as seven seat performance cars go, this is unbelievable. It's a 500 brake horsepower, four litre V8, twin turbocharged SQ7 black edition. Unbelievable car, seven seater, does not to 60 in just over four seconds. It's a 22-22, done 31,000 miles with one owner from new. It's priced at 57,990 today, which when I was looking at a competitive car to this, one, there isn't many out there. I can't think of a seven seater that performs like that at that price, at that age. It's still got manufacturer's warranty until 2025. So cracking by and it's a seven seater. Looks the part as well with being a black edition and it's got a comfort and sound pack on it, which I'll show you on the interior. So Mythos black, black edition gives it gloss black badges, grill surrounds. You've got the SQ7 badge just symbolizing what this is. Front and rear sensors, rear view camera and the 3D camera part of the comfort and sound pack. Black edition is the spec as far as style is concerned. 22 rotor design wheels, so chrome edge, Black shadow, really looks the part. SQ7 brake calipers, black roof rails and privacy glass. So this for me is the perfect family car because you've got the performance of a really high performance SUV, but then you've got all the space of a seven seater. So if you want to use it as a five seat, you can do. You've got three isofix points across the middle, which is a very rare thing to come across. That interior is rotor leather. With it being an SQ7, it comes with a diamond stitching, so a really nice touch. When you get to the back, You've got those quad pipes just symbolizing what this is. So this is more than a Q7, considerably more than a Q7, but then you've still got this side of it. So if you're looking for an all-rounder of a family car, but something that you really enjoy driving, to get a seven-seater that has that amount of boot space is borderline impossible. The rear seats are electric and they're Isofix seats as well. So if you are someone with a large family, you've got plenty of options on where you can put child seats and they're electrically controlled and they will go fully flat. And then you've got a monstrous boot space. Air suspension is standard, so you can raise that. And you can also lower it, depending on what you're putting in. So whether you're putting in suitcases, even dogs, pets, animals, whatever it is that you're putting in there, it'll give you an easier access height. Great looking SUV. Obviously, this is a petrol. They did do a diesel earlier on in life, but this petrol sounds far better than what the diesel did. Illuminated door entry. The rotor grade carries on into the door card, so you've got suede where your elbow will sit, but then you've obviously got those leather diamond stitch seats as well. When I jump in, I will show you that Bang & Olufsen sound system. So again, part of that comfort and sound pack. And these seats are electrically adjustable. You might be able to hear this, you might not, but this has an unbelievable sound to it. Really good noise, obviously 500 brake horsepower for a car this size. And I was baffled when I found out it was not to 16 in four seconds. That's quick from a car that's as big as this. Virtual cockpit, digital dash, loads of spec on here. Audi give you loads of spec. Traffic sign recognition. You've got obviously all your uh, media, telephone, Navigation displays, you can make that bigger and smaller as well. So as far as the driver's concerned, you've got your paddles as well. Eight-speed box, cruise control, plenty of tech and spec. Extended LEDs, which you can control the different colours of that. You've got loads of different variants. Dual screen, which came out in 21 time, 20 time. So far better than the previous one. But you've got your top screen, which contains navigation media, separate to your virtual cockpit. So put the nav on there. Again, you can change that over from there, no problem. Your bottom screen's got your air con, your climate control your heated seats, dead straightforward to use. Park assist pack is on this one, so you've got rear camera, aerial view, and then a real nice one is if you pop it into 3D, physically shows you what you've got around you so you're not gonna run over anything. Armrest, USBs, everything you'd expect to see. Super sport seats are standard on an SQ7, so just hold you a bit more, headrest is different. Bang & Olufsen I've already mentioned, so if you're into your music, that's a big one on an Audi because it's a great system. But one owner from new, being very well kept, it has been serviced by Audi when it should have been, and obviously we will prep it to true Acklam standard as well, but the performance is there, the practicality is there, and in black it has a great look on the exterior as well. So if you have been searching for a performance seven-seater, there's not many out there, but this is a great one. So if you want to give me a call, my number's below, and I look forward to speaking to you.